Does it feel good to be back? Hello, I am of course Wanadu, and this is my first video in quite a while. Uh, for anyone interested, I was finishing up my final year of university, um, doing my final exams, which I have now finished, so hopefully I will be able to have a lot more regular um, uploading schedule. We're gonna take a slight interlude from what we've been doing over in Rocky Passage, and we are going to be doing this Cyglon interlude, I think I'm gonna call it. You're gonna find Dinko, head down there, and I think it means that we're gonna get to the dungeon. Um, you might notice that I leveled up a little bit, I'm level 16, um, I've done a bunch of the professions, so I've been trying to get them up without making my inventory completely full of uh, crafting materials. I've got some new weapons, uh, I'm not sure, I had this one before, but I've got this one which I'm waiting till 17, then I'll be able to use. I got a uh, this I crafted, which is um, like Oblivion when I back away in episode three, I think, uh, which does a nice bit of damage. And I crafted this with the Weaponsmith, which is a non-magical weapon, so I don't drain all my mana. Um, nice upgrade on the healing as well, and I do believe this one has a 95% hit chance, but these ones uh, can all hit perfectly, which is something I was really struggling with before because the hit chance was plummeting. Um, and I got nice upgrades on lots of my armor, so I've got. I'm pretty decked out, I'm feeling like I'll be able to take on this dungeon fairly well. So let's head down there, let's find Dinko. I have not been paying attention where I'm going. I got lost in the field. There's going to be a server restart, so we'll see how far we get before they have that. But I'll be right back. Okay, I believe that we have to go through this cave. As I come through here, I do want to say that um, they are going to be including fast travel uh, between towns, which has really become a, a pain going between um, Farshore and Rocky Passage. That's why I've had to do all my professions to get them all done. Also, there's so much copper in here nowadays that um, the server population has dropped down a little bit after the Steam release. I am also playing uh, UK morning time, which means that normally there's a bit lower as well. But we've got to head down here. There's some Cyglon Keepers, but I believe we head right through here. And hopefully we'll find Dinko on the other side. Aha! Here we go. And is this Dinko? It's the man himself. We finally did it. Let's finish that up. Get some experience. He's got a quest for us as well. Um, Cyglon Chambers. That's what I was talking about. That's the key that we need to get into there. He's at the chamber. Go to him. He can be of use. And he gets a healing thing, which I'm not going to need, but that's okay. Kill Cyglon Keepers. A key. The key. Went through sometimes with them. Kill 10 of them for him. Okay. Well, we have a key, but we'll do this quest first as well. Just quickly. Just see whether that guy doesn't go anywhere. Let's head downstairs and get some of these... Cyglons. Okay, here we go. Here's some Cyglon Keepers. Let's see how much of a trouble they are for me. I don't think I'm going to have uh, too much difficulty killing them. I don't think I'm getting any experience. It's a shame. It meant that I, if I had came here a little bit earlier, come here a little bit earlier, then I would have been able to um, benefit. There we go, a Cyclone. So I think it's a 1 in 3 chance they drop it, and this lets you do the dungeon, um, which we're going to do just once I've Got these let's area attack these guys, and we got some rawhide, which luckily I never need anymore, because um, I have upgraded my. Oh hello! Let's open all the things. Upgraded my professions uh, sufficiently, so that's brilliant. <laughs> I was very chuffed to um, get up to level ten there. Let's keep this open actually, so I can keep an eye on how many I need to kill. Um, I'm not sure if there's any more around. The bats don't worry me. Well, they used to. I used to struggle coming through here. There's more keepers here, so let me finish up this, and we'll get back up to the cave and. Is it Dinko's dad? No, the server's restarting just as I fight. Um, I did do the quest. I want to get another key so we can do the dungeon at least three times before I head off. Okay, we are back. The server is back up. And I have my two keys and I'll get another one from the quest and we are set to go. Here we go. Dinko will be proud of us. Let's get a... Oh, <laughs> not much of a reward for us uh, brave fighters, but we can manage with it. There's nothing we need to sell quite yet, so let's head on up. So, I've never actually been to this bit before. On the map, it's um, just tucked away by uh, Schneeker Sch Sch Schneer Schuck. It's really hard to say. I realize I've been calling it Schneeker Schnock this whole time, and that's completely wrong, but um, when you make a word that hard to say, I don't expect many people are gonna, gonna be doing it. So, yeah, they're just uh, fixing things, apparently. Freaky is one of the people who develops the game. Very grateful for him for creating it. It's a lot of fun. I know I spent a lot of hours on here. Here we go. Dinko's dad, Benjamin Matenda. Let's get that. Some experience. He loves adventures. Now we've got a small graveyard over here. So when we die, this dungeon, you can't survive. It's endless waves. 
you get better loot the further you make it, but there is no... You go until you die. So, let's have a little... Oh, and that's the perfect time for some lag, so... Let's see if we can go in. The Grave Chamber of the Cyclone Spiders. You enter the dungeon, they will come at your ways with increasing difficulties. Uh, you get some good items, you'll be rewarded after you die or leave the dungeon on your own. So it's waves, let's head in. Cyclone Chamber, wave dungeon. I think this must be the starting point. Say hello. Do you want to start the cyclone? Yes, I do. Wave 1 starts in 15 seconds. Okay, I, um, I did do this originally a long time ago. Um, when it first was released and you could only get up to level 10. I did it once and I can't remember what wave I got to um, But I am of course a lot stronger now and I'm actually a lot stronger than uh, I think you're supposed to be like level 10 isn't gonna be too much of an issue uh, What I do want to make sure is that I don't use up all my mana um, On these low waves because I want to make sure I can regen it fast enough to um, Get through it because I do use mana rather quickly Wave 1 defeated in just under 20 seconds. Wave 2 begins shortly. So I think it might work better if I go over here and stay on one side. And kill the ones that arrive quickly first. I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, I might cut some of the waves out. I can't imagine it's going to be. These early waves might not be too, too interesting. So. we got those two guys. This Cyclone Mage I don't think is going to be causing me much difficulty. I'm also not getting any experience here. So we did that wave in 20 seconds. I'm going to be right back once I've uh, worked my way up through the wave slightly and got to a point where I'm getting a little bit more challenged so you guys don't have to sit through and watch me just um, slay in all these easy monsters. So I'm on wave 4, but I do have a guy that's um, slightly hard to get to. Luckily, I have ranged weapons as well, so it wasn't too much of an issue. But obviously, this dungeon still needs a little bit of work in terms of where the mobs are coming from. Okay, I think wave five means we have a boss. Um, but I think we'll be able to take them down without too much of an issue. There we go, Sagoth is gone. That's wave five defeated. We are making good progress. And we're on to wave number 10, which I think might be another boss. So I'm just uh, getting ready for that. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to all of you that have supported me and subscribed. I got a few new subscribers when I was revising, so that was nice to see. I'm glad to have you on board, and I hope you are enjoying the stuff that I'm making. Do let me know if you want to see anything in particular. Here we go, we got another one. Ilgar... I can't, I can't say it. And I'm also having a little bit of a, a lag problem, so a few people in the chat, so... But it's not seeming to stopping me at these levels. There we go, level 10 is down, and we did that in 18 seconds. It's about 20 seconds per wave at the minute. And then um, we also have the 15 seconds waiting time between each wave. But yeah, thanks for jumping on board. Do um, tell your friends, and thank you very much for um, watching the content. I hope you continue to enjoy it. Let's see how far through this we can get. I think they're going to start um, ranking up in difficulty a little bit quicker, hopefully soon, because... We are, as you can see, I'm still um, cruising through these. I haven't had to use any potions or anything like that, so um, we're doing well. Here we go. We're up to wave number 15 now, starting in a few seconds. I'm sure it'll be another boss. We're still uh, cruising through. I'm hoping that I'm going to start getting some experience for killing these guys as they level up. Let's see where this person is. Did I see movement? There we go. Let's have a little look. Sagoth again. No, still level 10, so... I'll um, have to see, maybe we're just too high a level for this dungeon. Um, but I hope, I'm hoping the level will keep ramping up. As you go through the levels, uh, we are increasing our chance of better and better loot. So um, I do want to see if we can get some, maybe a blue item. Um, I currently only have green, but these are pretty strong. So I'm quite happy with that. Oh, and let's just check out what we've got this time. We've got a couple of new monsters, Cyclon Ranger. That's not going to be too much issue for me, but it is if I'm going to miss like that. Um, let's do this and error affect them all. So, slightly getting through a little bit more mana and um, health now, but still nothing too worrying. Let's see if we can get up to 20. And we have another boss round up to level 20. And I'm still doing about 20 seconds of wave. Uh, the, the variation is basically just how long it takes me to find where they are. So... Here we go, let's see, is it Sagoth or the other one? And I'm not quite sure which direction you're going to get, it's the other one I think. Oh no, it's still Sagoth, level 10. 
They're not getting any harder, so I think we might just call it a day after this round. Because... Um, doesn't seem to be troubling me too much. So we're gonna go out here and see what loot we can get, and then I might do some research and see what the maximum level of loot is. Oh, we got some rare items. Awesome. Breaches of the Immortal. And we got a Cursed Reaver and a Feral War Axe. You finished wave 20, last wave time, 16 seconds, perfect. And we got some gold. So, that was pretty good. I got these items, I'm going to go sell these at Dinko, and then I'll probably come back and I'll do a little bit of research and see what level it's optimal to get to. So, it's nice having some blue items, are they're not actually uh, very useful to me. I'm quite far ahead of these. They would have been if I'd come here a bit sooner, which unfortunately I did not, so... We're going to sell all of this and we don't need this particularly either. Well, it's quite cool. Heals five for one second for ten seconds, but I heal about the same with that anyway. So, sell all this. I don't really ever run out of energy, so we'll sell that as well. We'll head back and I will probably try and get up to like level 30. There's some pretty cool items that can drop, uh, but I think it's chances. Obviously, the higher you go, the more chance you have and... It maxes, so it's unlimited waves, but the chances of getting better drops maxes out 120. So the end of the dungeon is effectively 120. Um, I'm not going to fight to get to that because that would take forever. Um, so I'll see how I do, and I will let you guys know. Okay, so I've been making some slow but steady progress. As I said, it takes quite a long time to get through all the waves. I now up to wave 25. Between waves 20 and 25, things did actually get a little bit tougher. Nothing that was challenging me too greatly. Um, now we're still fighting Staggeroff. So each wave, I believe, they get 2% stronger than the previous wave, which is going to exponentially go up. So um, it should be getting tougher. As I said, I'm going to go to wave 30, I think. I just thought I'd bring you on board for this boss. There we go. Um, we defeated that in 25 seconds, and we're on to the next wave. I took quite a lot of damage there. So I will actually use a health potion. And I will continue up to level 30, wave 30. I will see you, hopefully, I will make it. I'll see you then. Once again, we got a, a swimming spider this time. He's not quite obeying the laws of um, spiders, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he stuck me as well. Let's kill him off, but <laughs> I hope he enjoyed his little bath before he died. And I sent him off to um, the eternal swim. Um, and I had a few rats that were running around in the black there, so... As I said before, it's not it's not perfectly um, organized, but for all intents and purposes, it's doing its job. We're getting up right to level 30, wave 30. I keep calling it level 30. I mean, they're essentially the same thing. I think it's more that I, I want to be level 30. So, and um, we're not getting too much trouble. Let's finish off these guys. Ooh. They are getting stronger. I can't kill them on... um one shots anymore particularly it's only the rats that I can do that so we're getting into level 30 wave 30 here we go let's see who we have where we have them and how long it's going to take us to kill them we have uh oh look at that name Ilgarus with 900 um hit points so let's work our way through and we got a slight bit of lag so that's perfect that's what I wanted oh quite a heavy bit of lag unless they're struggling to attack me I doubt that come on there we go, and we did it. Not too long, and I'm going to jump out here and see what we get. We got a helmet. Nice, nice. Nothing too nemesis. That would have been lovely as well. And a head spike. And 35 gold. <laughs> the gold is, I have to admit, slightly pointless. Okay, I've got one more key. We're going to jump in and do this one more time. I'll probably go to level 30 again, because it takes... Flipping up forever. I wish there was a way that once you had, like, if you had defeated up to level 30, you can join at level 15 or something like where you join half the level that you are. Um, so let's get this rodeo on the road and do this one more time and see what items we get. So I am coming to the end of this third run at the Cyclone Chamber. Once again, I'm only going to level 30 and we are coming to the end of this episode. Uh, once I have finished up and we see what kind of goodies I get. Once they're not particularly that useful for me but it's um it's been pretty fun killing these monsters showing off how powerful i am um i did probably come here slightly too late uh but that was slightly i, I would say probably because i was busy um well not busy but i, I had it off to uh, rocky passage 
uh, and it was just such a long way to come back. It takes a long time to walk in this game. Um, they are bringing in... They're bringing in the hot air balloons, I believe, to have fast travel between towns. So once that's in, I think the game's going to really pick up in terms of the, 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 the slow travel across the map. It takes a long time to get between all the places, and they're adding a new place up at the top here, uh, which I think will be for levels 30 to 40, which will be exciting. Obviously, we're a long way off there, but we are going to get there one day. So we got Ilgaras, our level 30 boss. Uh, I don't think we're going to have much difficulty. Um, I'm not strafing or anything, so I am actually taking quite a bit of damage. But we did it! It was level 30 in 23 seconds. We're not going to stick around for level 31. We are going to leave. I accept to leave the dungeon and we got actually not as good as stuff this time. But still, nonetheless, 35 gold. This has been very good for giving me some items to replenish my gold. Because I have used most of it on the uh, professions, which Taylor, Enchanting, Weaponsmith, they're all getting up there. Um, I'm not bothering with these two yet because you kind of have to pick and choose which professions you want to want to do because you just don't have enough room in your inventory to um, do all of them at once. Herbalism I got nice and up there to level 20 already. Mining is slightly behind and once I get mining I'll be able to do my weaponsmith because I need the quartz. It's all um, needs each other. Let me sell all this gold, um, all these items for gold. I want the gold so we don't need that. We definitely don't need these. I've got much better items. I, I would have loved to have had this um, in the past. Same with this one and this one. But alas, um, I am pretty happy with the items. So we got nice, nice bit of gold. Thank you very much for watching. Do check out the rest of my channel. I've got some more profession guides coming up um, for you people looking to get to level 10 in all the professions and the best ways to do that. And hopefully I'll have some other games other than Steinworld. I'm going to carry on my Steinworld um, play, but I want to try and... Uh, diverse from my uh, YouTube channel a bit so keep an eye out for that and hopefully you will enjoy it as well thank you very much for watching do like and subscribe and I will see you next time